So what I have in front of me today is a brake chamber. It's an air brake chamber. It's gonna be on any heavy truck that's got an air brake system. This one happens to be a 30-30 size. It's got a two and a half inch stroke on it. And there's a couple parts in here, a couple things that are dangerous that we should be looking out for when we're inspecting our trucks. And a couple other things to note. So this is obviously our shaft here. It comes with a new clevis. So that's what we're gonna install when we're putting on the new thread. It's actually gonna thread right on here. It's gonna go to your slack adjuster. And then when we're making those adjustments, we're going to thread this on. And we'll actually cut this shaft down to match what you have on the truck originally. But a couple things to note, when you're inspecting your brake chambers, you wanna look for rust and rot. Obviously this is all brand new. It's all metal casing. So we do see sometimes that these are actually rotted out. Inside this thing is a very heavily tensioned spring. If this clamp was to be loosened up and came off, or if the metal casing was rotted and it broke out, this spring is gonna go flying and I don't know where it's gonna go. It's not gonna be in a good spot. So those are things we're gonna check for. Loose bolts, nuts on the clamp, rusted out caps. Um, and like I said, it is dangerous if these things go bad. So check them out. If you see something that doesn't look right, get it replaced. There's ways that we can safely cage this system. So you can actually thread a rod into the back here. It's called caging the, the chamber. Just a couple things to note. You got your clevis, your shaft, your chamber, there's a spring inside, and that's what we got here.